we are given a positive charge q in front of an infinitely conducting plate and we need to find the surface density of charges induced on this plate so we'll take a small element of uh, at a distance of r from the line joining the our charge and its mirror charge so on this point let's find what is the value of sigma r which we need to find so because of this plus q charge electric field is going to be in this direction and because of minus q charge electric field is going to be in this direction so net electric field about this point is going to be vertically downwards and its value is p will be 2e cos theta now this is the electric field due to plus q and minus q which we have kept there but in reality it is not there in reality we have a plane so we can compare this electric field to that of electric field generated in front of the plane so if this plane conducting plane has a charge density of sigma r then we know that the electric field just in front of a conducting body is sigma r by epsilon so this electric field is the net electric field due to the charge plus q and charge on the conducting plate so once again i'll tell what we have done here so we have taken a small element at a distance r this ring just signifies that at all these points on the ring these values of e is going to be same so here we are going to the here we are going to calculate the electric field in two ways net electric field in two ways first is because of the charge and its and the imaginary charge and second because of this charge and the plate so plate is real and this charge is also real and this minus q this imaginary charge it easy makes our calculations easy easy that's why we have kept here so in both the cases electric field should come similar so in case of imaginary charge the electric field is 2e cos theta and in case of our charge and the plate electric field is sigma r by epsilon because in front of a conductor electric field is always sigma r by epsilon and you can see it should be perpendicular to the plate as well so now we can equating these two we get sigma r is equal to 2 epsilon e cos theta and electric field due to this charge will be k q by square of this distance which is k q by r square plus d square into cos theta so cos theta is d by root of r square plus d square which gives our answer the charge density as a function of r is q d by 2 pi and this result now the ring element we considered for this part he has not asked it but let's calculate total charge on the plate as well so you can see that the charge density is decreasing as you increase the as you go away from the from these charges so eventually the charge should come to be finite so let's see that so total charge on the plate is integral of this dq dq is charge on let's say this ring and that will be sigma r into da because sigma r is same on all the positions of the ring and da is 2 pi r dr so if you put the value of sigma r here uh, some things will get cancelled inside the integral you will have r dr by r square plus d square power 3 by 2 say standard result and 0 to infinity when we integrate it you will get you will see that this result comes to be 1 by d so it will cancel with the d and you will be left with the answer q so i'm not doing it you can do this integration yourself by substituting r is equal to d tan theta so r is d tan theta so with that substitution you can resolve it and you will see that the total charge on the plate comes to be q